How you doing guys? This is MMP on Fab 94. Um, I've got another lightning uh, Hasbro uh, Power Rangers lightning collection figure for you today. And it's going to be my second uh, video. As you can see today it's going to be uh, Lord Zed's General uh, Goldar. And before Lord Zed he was Rita's General. And I just have to say I am really really enjoying these Hasbro figures. I really am. Like just the detail on them is absolutely first class. The only downside to Goldor, I would say, is it could have been Goldor. He's, he's, I think he's like a darker, sort of brownier gold. But you know what? I still think it looks amazing. And I'll just give you a close up of that. I just love the detail in the face and the red eyes and the teeth and the hair and the wings. It's just absolutely epic. And I will probably say epic a lot in these reviews because that's what these figures are. Really are. So I will start with the box. So as you can see there. That's actually the way Goldar actually looks in Zoo Ranger and most of season one. But for some reason they gave us the they gave us the, um, the season two sort of American face, which I'm okay with. And then of course the back you've got the box art. But you see what I mean, but the box art the the um the, the gold armor is slightly shinier. But I don't know why they do that. They make the box art look amazing and then they give us the toy, but you know, for my that there, that's just a minor nitpick. My hand, just an minor, nit, a minor nitpick. And of course, you have the side of the box. Like these boxes, I have to keep them because, you know, um, my last review, I'm going to set them all side by side. And um, just before I go through the details and show you the weapon and the figures, I'm going to do a comparison with. Um, I've got a nineties gold bar, and I'll just do a comparison with me if you just give me a second. Now this, I bought this last year because as I say I am starting a battle display on the top of the cabinet. You can see in the background here at the very top I've got my battle display. So I thought I have to have Goldar. But of course when I bought this here I didn't realise that they had released a lightning figure Goldar. Now don't get me wrong, I mean it's not a bad toy. I mean the face is pretty dodgy looking. It looks like he's got a big cheeser. It looks like he's getting a photograph taken and he's going cheese. <laughs> it looks so stupid doesn't it? It's so funny. But um, you know, and then there's like a, it has like an accent thing at the back there. And then you can sort of, it's like he's chopping with a sword. But you know what I mean? It's like, it's like that gold art is too light and that gold art is too dark. So you know what I mean? That's too dark, that's too light. But I just think that's okay. It's, it's good. It's not darker like I would like it to, but that's way too dark. But anyway, that's the comparison of the two. As you can see, it's night and day. I mean, it's absolutely night and day. But anyway, that's that's just a comparison of the two. I thought I'd add that into this video. So. And while I'm at it, I just thought I would add the, as you know, the pops are really popular at the minute. There's everything in them. Star Wars, Power Rangers, any movie, anything in TV, they have made a pop. And of course, I had to get a couple of Power Ranger pops. And I'm only showing Lord Zed's pop in this video because I forget to show Lord Zed's pop in Lord Zed's lightning figure, but then I forgot to put them in it because it was it was a lightning collection review of Lord Zed, so I just thought I was showing this video, so I'll put him away. Now, the Goldar pop I really like. Obviously, they're nothing to hit, I mean, you know, I, I do like the face on it, the big red eyes, and, but this is just to show you the difference, but I had to get the Goldar pop. I like the gold in this guy. I think that's really the gold I would prefer this guy to be, but again, it's just nitpick. I do like, I do like how it looks. Right. I was just pointing that out and thought it'd be nice to see it side by side. Right, on to the figure itself. Right, you can take the wings off, which I'm going to do. You know, so you just, you just pull them out. Just be careful though, you don't want to. And I have just dropped the fist. So. Because you can take the wings off, you can now have Goldar posed in his season one form. Because as far as I know, in season one, he doesn't have his wings. The only time I can think he has his wings is when he's fighting Megazord and Rita makes him grow. But don't quote me on that. And if I'm wrong, please correct me. I should know what because I really consider myself a super Paranger fan. I should know that. But from memory, I think he's got his wings when he grows. I can't. I'm not. I'm not hundred percent sure though. But in season two, then when Lord Zed came in, obviously uh, Goldar obviously surrendered himself, and then Goldar Lord Lord Zed gave Goldar his wings back. So 
But I don't really get it because in Megazord mode, he had his wings at the start of the first episode of Power Rangers, he had his wings. So I don't really understand why they don't that arc, but I mean, of course, I don't know why that might Power Rangers, but you know what I mean. So, of course, he comes with two hands. This here hand sort of reminds me of uh, Grimly Evil episode 3 when Jason's stuck in Dark Dimension fighting Goldar. He right away grabs Jason by the throat, which is pretty dark for Power Rangers, but I think that's sort of the hand you can do. And I might just try that whenever I pose. Whenever I do my MM, whenever I do my MMPR Red Lightning review, I might try that pose on camera and see how it looks. But I just love these figures because, I mean, when I got them all, I started taking pictures of poses and Lord Zed fighting the Red Ranger and Red Ranger fighting Lord Zed. I've just said that, sorry. Red Ranger fighting Goldar. And I even done uh, 10 to 20 pictures in celebration of getting Lord Zed's throne. I done um, uh, Lord Zed's uh, Return, uh, season one episode, or season two episode one, which was really good. So I just put them in a pose there, right? So take a sword, which is here, which is amazing. Now I always thought gold or silver was gold, but obviously I'm wrong. I, I, I even looked it up and I went, oh, well, this, this was sort of silver. I mean, I'm a super fan of Power Rangers, so I really shouldn't have got that wrong. But then again, we can't always be right, can we? So we just put that into his hand like that. And then you can have him fighting the Rangers. And do you, do you think he looks better with his wings off or his wings on? I just think with the wings off, it gives him more season one look. But then with the wings on, he looks more season two. And I don't know, I think... If they, if they went to the effort to give us his wings, then I'd put his wings on. But, you know, let me know if the wings are, you know, you, you prefer the wings on or the wings off. So to put the wings on, you just, you, see, you just take off there. And there's two holes in the back of Goldar. And you just put them in there, as simple. I would show it on camera, but it's very footwear, so. I would show it on camera at all, sort of. Take me a while because it just, there we go, just slots in quite easy. Just don't be scared of it, just push it in and it'll go in. Yeah, there is a way to fly across the screen with a sword in his hand, or even just you can, you, sort of, you can even pose him as if he's flying the earth with a sword in his hand, which is, I mean, the posability you can have with these figures is absolutely excellent. Right. Right, okay. Of course, all the lightning figures come with uh, energy beams and lightning bolts and stuff. And Goldar is no exception. So, this is a really purple sort of lightning bolt thing. And you just pop it over the sword like that. And then you can pretend he's about to charge up for attack. So, we'll just give a close up of Goldar. I can't remember really how enough, but I'll do it again soon. I'm not complaining. Lighten them bolt with the sword and then just like that. Right, I am going to bring in his Lord and Master, Lord Zed, because the two of them look amazing together. There we are, Lord Zed. They just they look absolutely amazing together. You have Lord Zed standing in front of them and then Goldar behind them. These two guys are just absolutely epic. And as I said in my Lord Zed review, I've got Lord Zed's throne. So you can pose Goldar behind Lord Zed's throne, like so, like so, and then you can do things that you can make uh, Goldar actually bow down to him. It's kind of hard to sort of pose him because he kind of falls, but you can kind of have him bowing down to Lord Zed's I put a sword out of the way, he looks like I'm stabbing him. Like so. He's bound down to his Lord and Master, Lord Zed. So it's just the endless possibilities of pictures and videos and stop motion videos you can do with these figures is absolutely excellent. So in conclusion, I'm going to give Goldar a 9. For simple reason is, I think his armour is not, it's too bright I think. But for buying that, I give it a 9. It's absolutely perfect for buying the collar. But I still like it. It's a wee nitpick, but 
I just thought I'd point it out because I heard a lot of other fans and they like the figures to say that I'm a gold dollar, but for by that, these two guys are absolutely excellent, so that's why I showed them together because they definitely look apart when you put them inside each other. And while I'm on talking about gold dollar and Lord said that Hasbro have actually released that there's a Rita coming, which is brilliant because all I have at the minute is a Rita pop because there really hasn't been a decent Rita figure. When Power Rangers was released in 1993, there was no Rita figures. For some reason, they didn't release it. And then we got a really, really crappy Rita Repulsa during the Power Rangers Samurai line, which I was going to get to complete my villain display. But I'll just wait until the summer when the Lord Zed and Rita Wedding Pack comes out. And I know where they have Lord Zed, but the Wedding Pack comes with Lord Zed's crystal, a few red mixers like the Wedding Cake with Lord Zed and Rita on top of it. And um, so I look forward to getting that. And then when I get that, I'm going to review it, obviously. So, um, and then having two Lord's Eds, which means I can have this Lord's Ed for the display, and then I can put Lord's Ed up with my Lightning Collection display. I have two separate displays. I've got my villain display up there, and then I've got a display up in this cabinet you can't see in the shot. And I've got my Shadow Ranger and my Magnus Vendor up there. So, in conclusion, Goldar is a 9 out of 10. As I said in my Lightning uh, Lord's Ed video, he's a 10 out of 10. So, give this video a like, guys, and, um, I will see you around and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.